there are ways to measure concentration other than molarity, two of which are percent mass and percent volume. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you a question. This might provide us some insight into your personality. Now, is this glass half full or is it half empty? Now, you being a scientist know the answer to this. It's 50% water and 50% air. So technically, the glass is completely full. Now, we have a formula for percent. You've been using it for years. It's part divided by whole times 100. So our formula for percent mass doesn't deviate from this at all. The percent mass of a solution is equal to the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solute plus the mass of the solvent times 100. Now if you take the solute and the solvent and you add them together, that's called the solution. So we can simplify this mass of solute divided by mass of solution. So here's the formula um, written in a more concise way. Percent mass equals the mass of solute divided by the mass of the solution times 100. Now there's really only one area where, student get, where students get tripped up. They forget what percent means. Remember that percent means part divided by whole. It does not mean part divided by part. If you took a test and you wanted to know what grade you got, you would never do how many questions you got right divided by how many questions you got wrong. It doesn't make any sense. You would do how many questions you got right divided by the total number of questions on the test. So don't make that mistake. Remember, it's the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution and the solution is made up of both the solute and the solvent. So naturally, the formula for percent volume is pretty similar. Percent volume is equal to the volume of solute divided by the volume of solution times 100.